Wellington Dukes TV is brought to you by the Sandbanks Bar and Grill. Dukes fans, stop by the Sandbanks Bar and Grill on any home game night wearing your Dukes gear to receive 10% off your meal. The Sandbanks Bar and Grill, 153 Main Street, Wellington, Ontario. It's always better by the water. Hello again and thanks for watching Wellington Dukes TV, your YouTube home for Wellington Dukes highlights and information. Wellington Dukes TV is brought to you by the Sandbanks Bar and Grill, 153 Main Street, Wellington. Stop by and say hello to Dan and the gang this holiday season. They'd love to see you. The Wellington Dukes continue to keep pace with the rest of the challengers in the OJHL's East Division. As of this recording, they find themselves in a tie for first place with 48 points. The club picked up a possible four of six points the last weekend. Let's see the highlights. The Orangeville Flyers in town on Friday night, the visitors owning the worst record in the Ontario Junior Hockey League. Wellington on the power play early and Chad Thibodeau slings it to Luke Brown who finds Joe McEwen in the slot and he beats Taylor Welsh for the game's first goal. Midway through the first, Orangeville will respond when Devin Gilman will throw it the puck towards Tyson Teichman. It deflects off something in front and the Flyers are on the board. But Wellington wouldn't let the period get away. Luke Brown gets Wellington's second power play goal of the night, ripping it past Welsh. Later in the frame, Eric De Laurentiis will put the puck on net and find a hole in Welsh, and it's 3-1 Wellington after 20 minutes. In the second, a little hostility as Luke Brown gets dumped hard at center ice. The play goes into Orangeville's end, and Chad Thibodeau has taken a number, and he's making sure the Flyers know what's up. Later in the second, Andrew McCann will lug the puck into the Orangeville zone and leave it for Spencer Turcott. He goes top shelf for his 10th of the season to make it 4-1 Wellington. Orangeville would close the gap to 4-2 in the second, but the Dukes get the only goal in the third as Joe McEwen bags his second of the night past a distracted Taylor Welsh, and Wellington takes the game 5-2. It's Christmas time, and the perfect gift for the hockey fan in your life is a ticket package to the 2014 Dudley Hewitt Cup Championships this spring at S-Rock Arena. Support the Wellington Dukes and watch all the action of the Central Canada Junior A Hockey Championship. This is the most important event in the history of Prince Edward County Junior Hockey. Stop by the Dukes box office or call Betty Masterson at 613-399-1573. Get your Dudley Hewitt Cup ticket package today. <laughs> The OJHL's top team in the form of the Toronto Lakeshore Patriots in town on Sunday to take on Wellington. The Dukes get on the board in the first when Andrew McCann will slip it to Abbott Gerduckus and he beats Jeremy Helvig with a power play goal at the 7 minute mark. A few shifts later, Andreas Zagakis will get the best feed in front he will get all season. Unfortunately, he came off the stick of a Wellington Duke and he makes it 1-1. Lakeshore will get the only goal of the second period when Michael Prapavisis will collect the pass at the blue line and rip it through a screen Tyson Teichman to put the Pats ahead 2-1. In the third, Chad Thibodeau will rip it through Helvig at about the three-minute mark to tie the game up 2-2. But just 64 seconds later, Nikos Kovacis will rip it through a screen Teichman and the Pats go ahead 3-2. Wellington would lift Teichman late in the game, and Helvig had to be careful here as the puck was loose in front, but he hangs on, and the Pats score three times on just 22 shots. Wellington goes down 3-2. <laughs> on Tuesday, the Dukes were in Lindsay to take on the Muskies. The last time Wellington was here on November 22nd, they had to come back in the third and win the game in a shootout. Lindsay gets on the board first when Jake Ryan takes a Keegan Cairns feed and beats Teichman to make it 1-0. Lindsay would make it 2-0 in the third, and Wellington didn't get on the board until the 7-minute mark when Josh Saprika will drive to the net, and he beats Brandon Francie, and it's a 2-1 game. Time winding down in the third, and Keegan Cairns will dump Jacob Panetta at center ice and take a 2-minute minor. The Dukes' power play almost over when Eric DeLorenis will pick up the puck, weave through the musky line, and rip it short side past Francie, and we have a whole new hockey game. No scoring until the shootout when Mike Soucier scores in round two to put the Dukes ahead. Tyson Teichman can stuff the fish here, but Vince Herlihy gets the goal to extend the penalty shot competition. 
The Duke's shooting last, and they have a pair of chances to win it. First, Steven Deeg puts it off the pipe. Then Eric De Laurentiis thinks he has Francie beat, and he did, but the puck didn't go in, and it goes off the crossbar. Finally, Mike Robinson has a chance to win it, and he puts a great move that buys and sells Francie. And the Dukes win, taking out the Muskies 3-2. Just one chance to left to see the Wellington Dukes in 2013, and that's this Friday when they host the Whitby Fury at S-Rock Arena at 7.30. After that game, the club won't be back in town until January 3rd when they host the Aurora Tigers. For Wellington Dukes TV, I'm Jason Parks, wishing you and your family a happy holidays.